We're asked to simplify this huge long expression here. x to the third plus 3x minus 6. That's in parentheses plus negative 2x squared plus x minus 2. And then minus the quantity 3x minus 4. So a good place to start. We'll just rewrite this and see if we can eliminate the, par the parentheses in this step. So let's just start at the beginning. We have the x to the third right over there. So x to the third, and then plus 3x, I'll do that in pink, plus 3x plus 3x, and then we have a minus 6, minus 6. And we don't have to put the parentheses around there. That Those don't really change anything. Plus, and we don't have to even write these do anything with these parentheses. We can eliminate them, just because there's a positive sign out here. We don't have to distribute anything. Distributing a positive sign doesn't do anything to these numbers. So then plus, we have a negative 2x squared. So this term right here is negative 2x squared, or minus x squared. And then we have a plus x. We have a plus x, plus x. Then we have a minus 2. And we have a minus 2. Then we have a negative sign times this whole expression. So we're going to have to distribute the negative sign. So it's a positive 3x, but it's being multiplied by negative 1. So it's really a negative 3x. So minus 3x, minus 3x. And then you have a negative. You can imagine this is a negative 1 implicitly out here. Negative 1 times negative 4, that's a positive 4. So plus 4, plus 4. Now we can combine terms of similar degree, of the same degree. Now first we have an x to the third term. And I think it's the only third degree term here, because we have x being raised to the third power. So let me just rewrite here. We have x to the third. And let's look at our x squared terms. Looks like we only have 1. We only have this term right here. So we have minus 2x squared. And then what about our x terms? We have a 3x plus an x minus a 3x again. So that 3x minus a 3x will cancel out, and you're just left with an x. So plus x. And then finally, our constant terms. Negative 6 minus 2 plus 4. Negative 6 minus 2 gets us to negative 8. Plus 4 is negative 4. Negative 4. And we are done. We have simplified the expression. Now we just have a four-term polynomial.